Crystal and I'm with Crossword Krabbies. So today we're going to be doing an easy DIY for our base tank and for the background for Hermit Crab Tank. <clears throat> so the first thing is we're going to go over the supplies you'll need, um, just so you have everything that you need and um, an easy way to do this. So first off we're going to start with wire cutters and then you're going to need a sharpie or anything that you can mark with and that will stay on the stuff and then a tape measure to measure the length that you're going to need for your sides of your tank and or your um, base length of your tank <clears throat> and then you're going to need any size of zip ties that you want to use and then you're going to need to use your boxwood or any type of like background that you want to use you can use cocoa fiber or you can use a boxwood and then the most important thing that we're going to need is we're going to need one of these they go by a cray, they go by a white lube, or even a light diffuser. <clears throat> and then, now that we've got all of our supplies that we need, we can go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to measure the length of your side that you're going to be using this on, whether it's the length of your base tank or the sides that you're going to be um, doing as well. And then once you have the measurements, you can go ahead and mark on your light diffuser of uh, how long you need to cut. So we're going to go ahead and cut these with the wire cutters. And then we'll go ahead and end it, tie the box crate to the light diffuser. Okay, so for today, um, my base tank is 36 inches by 15 and a quarter inches. So that's how much I'll be measuring on our egg crate here. And that's how much we'll be cutting as well after we measure it. So now we're going to take our tape measure and then we're going to line it up on the edge of the egg crate here. So this will hold it in place while you're pulling it from the other side. I'm going to go ahead and measure it to 15 and a quarter for the height because that's how long it is from the top to the bottom of my tank. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark it with our black sharpie that we got for our supplies here. And all you have to do is on the edge of the line of where you're going to be cutting. Okay, now that we have our height, we're going to go ahead and do our length. So I'm going to turn this around so we have easier access to it. And I'm going to measure from this side as well because that's where we marked our 15 and a quarter all the way to the other side of 36 inches of where it, we will need it to stop. And then we'll go ahead and take our black sharpie again and we'll go ahead and just mark the end just of where we need to cut. Okay, now that we have our um, egg crate measured to the measurements that we need for the 36 inches for the length and then our 15 and a quarter for the height, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting um, <clears throat> the length over here and then we'll go ahead and count down. Actually, I'll probably start with our height here and then we'll go all the way down to where the 36 inches mark is. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make our first cut. You can go ahead and just cut in between the lines right here and then you can kind of clip them off afterwards as well. Before we go any further, I kind of want to discuss where we got some of these supplies from. Some of them are a little bit harder to find, but then there's also some that we that have a bunch of links to. So we did get these egg crates from Home Depot. They come by in a four by two sheet, like that's four foot by two foot sheet. 
and then you can cut them. Normally you're going to need to get two of these four by two sheets if you're wanting to do your back uh, length of your tank and also the sides because this will only hold um, like pull out one of the links but then you don't have enough um, to actually do a full side as well. Um, so we will actually put a link in the description and we got these from Home Depot. Um, normally you can find them in the lighting section like where you can build your own lights um, but they are really hard to find so just check with your local Home Depot to see if you have them in stock. Next thing I kind of want to talk about is where we got the boxwood as well. You can find these at Hobby Lobby. You can find them on Amazon. We got bought ours on Amazon um, and they were about like less than $30. And so we are going to go ahead and put a link in the description as well to where we purchased them from. So therefore, if you'd like to, you can also get these from that specific area as well. Now, when you do receive your boxwood and you take them out of the box, that it comes in, these will have a strong chemical smell to them. And so what you need to do to make it crab safe is you need to go ahead and soak this in a vinegar diluted with water for about two hours. And then you can go ahead and set it out in the sun or leave it outside for about 48 hours until the smell goes away. And then you can go ahead and start attaching them to your background and, and getting it ready for your crab attack. So we've already cleaned ours. So now we are prepared to go ahead and attach it to our anchor here. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and line these up just to make sure that they are in the squares of where we're going to put them and that we know that they're going to be level and balanced out on our egg crate as well. So when we are prepared to stick it in our crab attack, it will be equal and it'll line up with the, the sides of the boxwoods that we're going to do as well. So now, um, now that we have these lined out, there should be about two squares per side that you will have vacant and it'll be empty. And um, that will prepare for the other boxwood that you're going to put on the side or any other uh, background that you're going to put for your sides will fill in that gap for you. So now we're going to go ahead and take those two off so we can focus on the first one that we're going to put down. So we are going to take our zip ties. Again, you can uh, use any uh, variety or size that you would like, but we're going to go ahead and use these small green ones. And these do, uh, these green zip ties do come with your boxwood in the box as well. So we're going to go ahead and start in the top corner right here. And again, it's going to go ahead and have a two square difference. boxwood panels on our egg crate and that we know that the length and the height of our egg crate that we cut out fits into our tank. Um, next we're going to make it a little bit decorative for our hermit crabs because they like to climb and we want to give them things to climb into or climb onto kind of natural to, to their habitat that they have out in the wild. So a couple things that you can use that we have and that we're going to use on ours is you can get a cork round. We did choose the medium ones because they are a little bit bigger but you also get a little bit of a length when they are non-cut um, to where you can come into different pieces. Um, some have the natural um, kind of riggedy edges to them on one side and then you can also cut them into halves um, to make like little bolts for them that they can just sit in and stuff like that. And we call these hermit crab condos or you know just like little tree stumps that they can climb onto and sit. So we do have this Troya wood, which is really good. Hermit crabs love it, and they love to climb on it and climb over it. So we did cut it in half, um, so therefore it was flat on the back, and we can zip tie it flatly to our boxwood. So we have a couple pieces that we're going to add today. And then we also have these coconut huts that you can buy in the bird section. You can buy them online. Um, at your pet stores um, is where we found some of these and so this is one that we're going to use for our bottom it does have a shorter ladder so when they do climb onto it they don't have to climb very far to get to it 
Um, in order to attach these flatly to the back of our boxwood, we did have to cut off the backside round part to make it a flat area. And when you put this onto the back of the boxwood, the greenery is gonna provide a backing for that to where it's not fully exposed. So now we're gonna go ahead and start adding this to our boxwood via zip ties as well. Um, so therefore we don't have to silicone or anything like that. Okay, so the first thing um, that we're gonna do is I went ahead and laid this out previously um, to kind of see like the design that I wanted to make on the boxwood. So when you go ahead and start zip tying them, or placing them on the boxwood securely, you'll kind of know the design that you want. Um, and then so zip tying actually allows you to be able to edit your crab attack at any time as well without having to really tear something apart and maybe destroying it. So we're gonna go ahead and start zip tying the cocoa hut to the boxwood panel. And what we're gonna do to secure this to the boxwood panel is we're gonna use these um, zip ties which are 11 inches and we have a hole on the top and the bottom. So normally we would uh, drill holes into these items like the cork, wood, cork rounds and stuff like that to be able to put zip ties to them. But I'm just using the actual holes that came with the coca hut already. Um, we actually pulled this string out that was the rope out that was um, attached to this and then there was a bolt um, with a platform that we removed from this as well. put some of our decor on our boxwood. Now we're going to add just a little bit more and we're going to go ahead and put some greenery on our, um, around our decor just to make them um, have a little bit more decoration. It gives them a little bit more uh, to climb on and also kind of simulates how they would, um, you know, be up in high and uh, climbing out in their natural habitat as well. So we're going to keep in mind of this little area right here because this is where our water poles are going to be right underneath this. So we need to make sure that we're not putting anything like too low to where it's going to you know, be affected by the water over a long term. So we're going to kind of bring this up just a little bit more and not as low as we would on this side just to provide um, that area without it being um, disruptive later. So we're going to go ahead and cut this to like, you know, I kind of laid it out to kind of how I want it. Um, so if I know how to long to cut, so we're going to go ahead and cut it from right here. And then we'll go ahead and zip tie um, this along our uh, boxwood as well. Okay, now that I put all of the greenery onto the back of the background, um, I did only use like three zip ties because I kind of draped it over some of the stuff to provide them some hiding places and just kind of some natural um, greenery that it would flow over natural pieces um, that we use here. I did not even um, zip tie the stuff on, or the ends. I just kind of poked it through the acrate and the, um, uh, the boxwood as well because it will kind of hold it so there's no need for a zip tie and I did it on this one as well. Now if you feel like um, you do that and when you put it in it pushes it out, you can go ahead and zip tie it um, and just kind of keep it secure from like flopping around. Um, so what we're going to do now is now that we've completed our background, we're going to go ahead and put it in the tank to see um, how it fits and kind of push the substrate back to hold the egg crate in. Okay, so now that we're back at our tank, we're going to go ahead and put this in and then we're going to push the substrate back uh, to hold this in place. And again, just kind of go in at a diagonal angle um, and put one side in and the other one will slide right in. Okay, so 
now that we have this in, we're going to go ahead and push the substrate back here. Pieces. And as you can see, the, the substrates are already holding the egg crate in place. Therefore, I can just fill in the remaining of this and then it won't fall over. Without having to uh, silicone it or put any additional stuff on the background as well to um, keep it from falling down. We're just going to go ahead and level out our substrate here. Okay, now that you can see that we have our background in now and it's pretty secure with the sand, so it's substrate um, kind of holding it in as it fills in the egg crate down below. Um, this does conclude our DIY uh, base tape background. So if you did like our video or you want to learn more, just go ahead and like our channel. Subscribe and share it with your other Hermit Crab family. Y'all have a great day.